This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. This is part of a series of videos where we're going to be solving more complicated trigonometric equations where we might need to use these methods. Factoring, the quadratic formula or other methods for solving quadratics. We might have to use trig identities. We might have to square both sides. We also might be dealing with multiple angles. Keep in mind that if any time you square both sides of an equation, you, it's essential that you check solutions for extraneous roots. I solved this trig equation in another video and now I'm going to do it again using a different method. All right, we begin the same. We want to rewrite sine of negative x as negative sine of x, since that's an identity, equals cosine of x, and we're going to square both sides. Now remember, when you square both sides, you might get extraneous roots, so it's extremely important to check all the solutions. So I get sine squared x equals cosine squared x. Now in the previous video, what I did is I replaced cosine squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. And then we went through and solved the equation. We got four solutions, 45, 135, um, let's see, what was the next one? 225 and 315. And then we had to check all the solutions. These two weren't solutions. So you could look at, vi at that video to see how that went. Okay, now, this also could be done by replacing the sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x. So this, if you did this, you'd be solving for the cosine. So the whole problem would di look different, but in the end you would end up with the same solution. I'm going to look at it yet a different way by not doing that. How about if we let the left side equal zero and we wrote cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Well, cosine squared x minus sine squared x is an identity. Do you recognize it? It's the cosine of 2x. So now we have a multiple angle and we solve this by looking at all the places where this angle, 2x, would have a cosine of zero. Okay, so where would that be? Where is the cosine of zero? Well, that's where the x coordinate on the unit circle is zero, so it's here, zero one or zero negative one. There's two places, but remember you need to find all the solutions for x in zero to 360 degrees. So by the way, if um, x, if the answers for x are going to be in between 0 and 360 degrees, notice that 2x, if you multiply everything by 2, that will go in between 0 and 720 degrees. So I have to go, I have to list more possibilities for 2x than just 90 degrees and 270. Alright, so 2x could equal 90 degrees or, and actually I'm just going to list them like that, I know this isn't great notation, 270 degrees or what would this be if I wrapped all the way around? That would be 360 plus another 90, 450 degrees and then if I added another 180 to that, what's that? 630 degrees. So in other words, 2x could be all of these, right? And so x would be half of all those. So basically I'm getting four possibilities, 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, and 315 degrees. Now you may
figure this out a different way, how to get that 90, 270, 450, and 630. Okay, another way of doing it is just start listing all the multiple angles. Um, in other words, you could say you know that all the answers would be 90 degrees plus 360 degrees K or 2x equals 270 degrees plus 360 degrees K. And then when you divide by 2, and find the places uh, what x could be. The first one would be 45 here, 90 divided by 2. And then adding 180 to that, um, right, putting in k, you would uh, get this 135, etc. Um, I'm sorry, that wouldn't be true. That would give you the 45 plus 180 is 225. So from this equation here, you would get the 45 and 225. And this equation here, you would get the 135 and 315. But what's important to notice is that I'm not listing any values for x greater than 360 degrees. Okay, so we found these solutions here for x, but you have to check them all. And we did that in the previous video, so I'm just going to go back so that you can see how that looks. When I solved this using a different method, I did get the same four solutions for x, but then I had to check. And on the previous video, I went ahead and checked 45 degrees and found out it was not a solution. Okay, no, does not check. And so we had to cross that off. And then I checked 135 and it was a solution, it checked. So this was a solution. So on this video, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Let's check 225 degrees and 315 degrees. Now, if this was a test, you'd have to do all four of them. All right, so let's check it out. So if I check 225, I'm putting in 225 degrees for x. Now, where is negative 225 degrees? It's all the way up here, right? And that's where the sign is positive. It ends up being positive square roots of 2 over 2 or 1 over square roots of 2. And what about the cosine of 225 degrees? Where is that? Well, that's, there's 225 degrees. And notice the cosine is negative in quadrant 3. So this ends up being negative square roots of 2 over 2. So 225 does not check. How about for sine of negative 315 degrees? Where is negative 315 degrees? It's over here. I'd have to go all the way around, where again, sine is positive. That's a square root of 2 over 2. And the cosine of 315 degrees, all right, that would be all the way down here. The cosine's positive here, and it's square root of, oops, technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Here we go. Gets hmm, doesn't want to cooperate. So that one does check. So this is a solution. And as it turns out, because we had already checked this in the other video, this whoops, this one was not a solution, but the um, 135 checked and the 45 did not. So the final answer to this problem was 135 degrees and 315 degrees, since we were asked to give it in degrees. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com, where all of my videos are organized by topic.